Here in the UK, Transport Secretary Grant Shapps has confirmed that from the 6th of April, lorries visiting England from outside the UK for more than two days will need to take a Covid test. Drivers will have to take a test within 48 hours of arrival and then one every 72, after, 72 hours afterwards. Mr Shapps says this is to make sure the UK can keep track of any future variants of the virus of concern. Well, let's get reaction now to this from Rob McKenzie, Managing Director at the policy of policy at the Road Haulage Association. Um, Rod, it's good to speak to you again. We've spoken rather a lot over the last few months, haven't we, ever since all those uh, queues just before Christmas. Um, this question about COVID tests has come up before. Presumably this is in partly because of the uh, big outbreak of fresh cases in continental Europe. That's absolutely right, Sean. And if you cast your mind back to the days that you were talking about, those big queues at Dover before Christmas when uh, we had the Kent variant uh, and the French were very worried about that, so they imposed uh, these um, tests on all lorry drivers heading for France. Uh, and there was chaos to begin with because we didn't have an infrastructure. We've now got an infrastructure and those tests have continued up to now and it works well. So what has happened is it's the French now that have got the problem and uh, they, uh, as a result, the British want to check uh, all lorry drivers coming in. Uh, and that we're going to use the same infrastructure that's used the other way around, if you like. So for your average lorry driver who's doing international work, this isn't anything new. Um, he or she was having a test on the outbound journey for the benefit of France, that's now stopped. Instead, they're having a test inbound for the benefit of the UK government. Um, in terms of how the behaviour of lorry drivers has had to change and other haulage staff because of this, can you talk us through a bit? Because presumably they have changed the way they operate anyway. So it's different now if a lorry driver arrives here than, than how it might have been uh, 18 months ago. Yeah, it, it, it was chaotic at Christmas and, and certainly 18 months ago we were used to completely frictionless travel for mm. reasons uh, to do with uh, Brexit. That's six uh, letter word we don't, talk, we don't use very much exactly. these days. Uh, the, the world has changed in so many ways, uh, but uh, lorry drivers are very adaptable, haulage is very adaptable, mm. uh, and they've got used to this. Yeah. I mean, it's a pain. They'd rather not have things stuck up their nose and, and, and these lateral flow tests. Uh, but they've got used to the fact they have to do it. And really, it's just switched to the British asking for it from the 6th of April. Um, so in terms of what we're all worried about, which is supply chain, mm. uh, will we get our stuff and will stuff come in? Um, we're not seeing this as a, a problem. And, and also, there is a good infrastructure now for dealing with positive tests. Now, obviously, there's a lateral flow test to start with, then a, a, a second test if they're positive and then a period of isolation during which time their load is picked up and taken to its destination by a, a, a different uh, tractor unit, as we call them, the front end of a lorry. Rob, can I ask you briefly just, do you, when we talk about every 72 hours, in truth, how many, what kind of proportion of the drivers who come into the UK would be, would be here that long? Well, a lot of them are doing, you're, you're quite right, Sean, they do straight in and out, mm. and it's very quick. But some of them will be uh, on, on slightly longer journeys. Um, it's difficult to quantify. Mm. Um, I think one of the things we'll need to keep an eye on, um, we're, we're clearly not hostile to this move, we will need to keep an eye on how it works. Um, we can't see at, a mo uh, at the moment why it wouldn't work and why you know, there would be disruption. And we understand the government's viewpoint on this. But what we need to do is just to keep an eye on the practicalities day to day and see if there are unforeseen issues which crop up that we uh, need to flag up and complain about. Rob McKenzie at the Road Horse Association. Good as ever to speak to you. Thanks very much for your time.